Here I'll show a few clips on how you can use smoke emitters, such as the TinyS handheld fog machine, to locate leaks in building enclosures and HVAC duct systems and air handlers. Basically what this is, it's a handheld fog machine that puts out a nice vapor that behaves a lot like a smoke. Uh, it's a glycol solution, so it's safe to breathe in, safe to put on metal, doesn't corrode. Uh, comes with two rechargeable batteries. For this particular house, we are pressurizing the house with a blower door, so we're bringing air from the outside and pumping it in, and air is leaking out through holes in the enclosure. So as we see here, we're putting the smoke to the supply, and we can see a lot of smoke going into that. So we can see that there's a massive leak somewhere in this branch. Later, we find out that the duct is completely disconnected thanks to a family of cats. So this one's down in the crawl space. So one example of how you can use smoke uh, to find leaks in a duct system right off the bat. Still pressurizing the house, we've moved up to the attic, and we are at this can light. So air is being pushed out of that can light assembly and pushing that smoke away so we can see that that's a pretty major leak there in the ceiling. And here we've noticed uh, a leak here at the window. It was really hard to miss because with the blower door running to positively pressurize the house, it's actually making a really high pitched hum. So along with that hum, you can see how the smoke is escaping to the outside through the leak there in the window. So we can tell these windows never got sealed when they were installed. Here's an attic access door built into a knee wall. And this leads into the attic space adjacent to this room. And so with the blower door still running to pressurize, you can see the smoke escaping the room through the crack at the door. Some weather stripping on this door would help prevent this. So looking at duct systems, we are pressurizing this duct system with the RetroTech duct tester. And here we're looking at some penetrations in the air handler where that can be sealed to make the system more efficient and to keep air from leaking out. You can see how the smoke is interacting there uh, along with these punch outs here on the side too. These are usually sources of leaks as well. So you can see uh, the air getting pushed out of that air handler interacting with that smoke showing us that we have a leak. In addition to smoke testing, using a pressure pan is also a great way to locate leaks. You would use this with the same DM32 gauge that comes with a blower door or RetroTech duct tester. So in this scenario, we'll do the opposite of what we were doing earlier. This time we'll depressurize the house and pull air into the house through leaks in the enclosure. So here you can see I have my gauge hooked up to the blue port that it, where the other end is attached to the pressure pan. And we're gonna look at that same supply that we looked at earlier with the Tiny S smoker. So still depressurizing the house to negative 50 pascals. What we're seeing here is a positive 50 pascals on the gauge, which means that that part of the house is completely connected to the outside because of that disconnected duct. You can also use a pressure pan to measure leaks in other parts of the building closure as well. Here we have an intercom system on an interior wall, and we are getting a measurement of about 37 pascals. Since we're depressurizing to negative 50 pascals, this pressure differential tells us that over half of this wall cavity is connected to the outside. For this instance, this is particularly due to leaky knee walls in the attic that is moving into the interior wall space. These are just a few of the various methods you can use to find leaks in building enclosures and HVAC systems. To learn more, visit RetroTech's website or YouTube page.